everybody, this is the Knight's Tale Podcast where we discuss the tips, tools, tactics, and mindsets required for veterans to have a successful transition out of the military. Thanks for listening. So one of the main reasons I created this podcast was to spread the word about the GI Bill benefits and the abundant opportunities that you can create for yourself after separating from the military. Today I'm going to focus on on on-the-job training programs. Um, So as you know, most universities in the country, they they do take payments from the Veterans Affairs, but there are similar benefits available for businesses, but businesses do not utilize this at all. For example, if a company like Facebook wants to hire and train a developer from the military, the veteran has an opportunity to have access to his GI Bill benefits through an on-the-job training program that is at least six months or uh, as much as 36 months in length. What this allows is for a veteran to utilize their GI Bill benefits while they work. Uh, If a veteran works for for Facebook in the New York City office, their BAH, their BAH in New York City right now will be $3,669. Okay, so for the first six months of that developer in trainings uh, salary is going to have an extra $3,669 because Facebook has certified their company. Uh, they've, they've gotten their that position certified with the VA. All the verification processes have gone in place and they can now essentially save money on hiring that employee So the veteran has an opportunity to access his GI Bill benefit of $3,669 each month for six months. That amount will decrease by 20% for every six months that the veteran is in that training program. And so if you're in uh, Honolulu, Hawaii, that BAH amount that you would receive in addition to your salary would be $2,745. If you're in New Orleans, that amount is $1,428. If you're in Baltimore, Maryland, that amount is $2,181. If you're in Boston, Massachusetts, that amount is $3,006. If you are in Minneapolis, that amount is $1,674. So what I'm saying is there's there's extra money available for veterans to utilize when they're in an on-the-job training program but only if their company is certified. I know that I say this all the time, but 99% of companies in the country are not certified to work with the Department of Veterans Affairs Bureau of Education. Most companies don't want to deal with the paperwork of getting uh, certified by the VA. They, they They just do not feel like getting it done, and it's too much of a heavy lift um, in terms of paperwork. But if a business does want to invest in their veterans. They want to invest the time to make their veterans' lives better. They should be certified, right? So if you have any comments or questions, you can um, message me at robert at banneret.org. All I'm doing is trying to help veterans get more access to better jobs and you know do it in a practical way. So I hope that information was beneficial for you. I hope you have a good day. Bye.